Okay, so in, vi in this video, uh, we're going to elaborate on the composite Simpsons rule that you've seen in the, uh, in the other video. So um, here, basically, in case you are not familiar with the uh, summation and how, uh, how we expand it. So what I want to do is I've just uh, I'll put it here for you again. There you can see this is just typed up uh, what I had written earlier, where you have the uh, there's your formula and where the definitions are h is b minus a over n and xj is uh, a plus jh. Now one thing to keep in mind here okay, is that uh, we have uh, n is even. Okay, So first of all, it's very important for you to note that uh, uh, whatever we do here, n is going to be an even number. Otherwise, this formula doesn't work. As you can see, the uh, see divisions here by two, division here by two. Now that cannot become a fraction; it has to be a whole number. Remember, these are indices. These indices, j, j, j counters, can't be fractions here. These have to be whole numbers. So n, for that reason, has to be even. So let's take it as an example, just to see how we would do this. Suppose we use n equals four. Simple example. Then in this case, um, uh, for, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take. So what I'm going to do is, let's just down here. So what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to show you this for n equals 4, what the rule should be, what the formula will be. So it's going to be h over 3 plus f at uh, x0 or uh, let's say a. So x0 is a, remember. So let's say a plus, uh, plus uh, we'll have one element from here so summation uh, j equals one uh, two over two is one so uh, sorry four so that's going to be one so that's going to be one element so I'm just, just going to write it for you in the formula uh, for right now so you can see how this actually works and then we have plus four times uh, summation j equals one two two here so and that's going to be x two um, j minus one, and plus uh, our n x n is b. Okay, so just just for your reference, remember x zero is the starting point. It's a and x n is b. So that's just going to end up being uh, f of b. So that's basically our composite rules. That's a. Sorry, let's go there. So. Now what will happen is, uh, as we go through this, this is the part that you might find that you're not getting fully. Uh, so it's going to be f of uh, a plus. Now here you'll see there's only one element. See, this is one. So this is just going to be two times f of uh, j is one. So it's just going to be x two plus uh, four times summation j equals 1 to 2. So when j is 1, you're going to get uh, 4 times f of uh, 1 goes in here, that's 2 minus 1, so it's, that's x1. Plus you're going to get another 4, and then you're going to get f of x, uh, j equals up to 2, so 2 2 is a 4 minus 1 is 3, so you're going to get an x3 here. Plus fb. Okay, so now if you just write them in a bit better order uh, uh, so you're going to have f of a plus you're going to have uh, 4 fx1 plus 2 fx2 plus um, 4 fx3 plus f of b okay so that basically uh, that basically is how you would expand this that's just a quick example of how this works. Now the the composite trapezoidal rule that you would be seeing in this in the other in the video and the uh, other video uh, is much more straightforward. This is the slightly more complicated one because of the even odd uh, values. But this is how it works. There's nothing you have to do. Just remember that n here. Okay. Just remember that n that you see here. This must be an even number. Okay, n equals 4 as this example is chosen here. And you can try yourself for other examples with n equals 6 and 8 and so on and so forth. I hope this helps to clarify how you expand or how you would use a composite uh, Simpsons, uh, composite Simpsons rules formula. Thank you.